Welcome back uh, to the Mind Crackers, episode number six of season six of the Mind Crack Minecraft multiplayer server. Today, for Mount Doom, we're gonna make a lot more of these cool little outlines, the future vision for our future village on Mount Doom, which uh, someone was saying that it doesn't seem very evilly. Don't worry, we'll get there. Baby steps, one step at a time. So, last episode, we figured out a basic palette for these buildings up here that fit into our, our Mesa Mountain. It's not a Mesa, that's the Mesa over there. Savannah Mountain. It fits into the Savannah Mountain nicely. And I was thinking about things. I think I want to dedicate this episode, at least uh, the first part of it, to populating basically the entire mountain with these rectangles. Get a nice feel for how the whole thing is going to look. And then we will start making the actual buildings. And it's going to have a nice little secondary benefit. Every time I start a world, basically every time, almost every time, I end up with one of these. A little hole in the wall that I end up living in until I make my grand master plan super base. Which usually takes a really long time. I end up living in these things a long time. Uh, they, they get expanded bit by bit, but they're still kind of just kind of like small and like not nice, pretty. They're just... <sighs> Crude, I think is the word. They're crude. I don't want to live in a hole in the wall forever. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to take all these buildings and before we turn them into a village, we'll, we're going to turn them into kind of like um, second tier animal pens and farms and stuff. So this little like temp storage for our cows, this little temp farm, oops, see Daisy, temp farm for our wheat, our tree farm, all that kind of stuff is going to go up in these buildings. And then we'll uh, we'll convert them into villagers as we make our sort of actual base above the village. But first, okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're going to, well, first I need to go get a whole lot of clay because this is gonna involve a lot of clay. I need to go get a whole lot of sand, a whole lot of red sand because it's gonna take a lot of those things too. And then what else do we need? We need some vantage points. Someone was saying that they hope that I would show what the mountain looks like from all sides. And I think I stressed in the past I stressed in the past that it's important to see things from different perspectives, so we should do that. We're gonna make some ladders so we can look at things. I'll show you what it looks like. There's some cool terrain behind here someone was asking to see. So we're gonna do all that, and because I'm doing some boring, grindy, the sun is setting again. All right, let's go see if I can jump into bed. Anders is on. Um, because I'm doing some grindy, boring stuff, harvesting of materials, building rectangles, very repetitive stuff, we are going to do it with a montage.
So that used up about 24 stacks worth of blocks. I ended up adding a fourth color to our mix. After I got enough buildings up here, I just realized I needed a fourth one to make the, the, the arrangement, the disposition seem a little bit more random. So I've got uh, white stained clay there now with the light gray stained clay, the sandstone and the unstained clay, just the normal hardened clay or whatever. And I think that makes up a good melange a good mix and maybe we will even add like we'll pepper in s s different stuff here and there maybe like a little unique flower a little unique snowflake but we haven't even made the actual buildings these are just the outlines and to be honest i think we probably need two or three times the amount of buildings i want it to feel really crowded like some civilization has been living on this one mountain for centuries and centuries but I, I don't feel the need to do that all at once. That's going to be super grindy. I just get burnt out, right? Oh, by the way, I tried this little thing, having a building overhanging, kind of sticking out of the mound. I don't think I like that. I think they should all sort of be anchored into it like these are. So this is an error. I also started doing some overlapping stuff. So like this building sort of overlaps that one. Where's another example? Maybe on the other side. This one overlaps that. Like they were built on top of each other over time. I think that's a good idea. And as we go along, we'll, we'll start working on like the pathways and the detailings of the individual buildings. We'll do this piece by piece. And eventually we will populate it and get it full and super crowded. And hopefully what I, what I want to do is create a system of details so that um, I can rapidly add them once we have some things figured out. Once I figure out what the windows are going to kind of look like what the top of the building is going to look like, what the doorway is going to look like. Uh, it should be a matter of having efficiency picks and shovels. Go we'll get the materials, then come back and just knock it out for this layer of Mount Doom, which we've got to do a pretty significant amount of before we can move on to bigger and better things. So anyway, I think it's about time we got some llamas up in this base. So that's what I want to spend the rest of the episode working on. To do that, we're going to need a lead, which takes slime balls. And instead of going to a swamp to get them, I thought I'd come down here. Last couple of times I was down here messing around with or getting bones through the uh, skeleton grinder thing. I noticed some plop, 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 plop of slime balls slapping around. So one of these chunks is definitely a slime chunk. Last time I went to a swamp, I spent ages there and barely got anything. I think mostly because I didn't have a lot of spawning areas. Um, anyway, so I did update this a little bit. So now I've got a little room on this side. I don't think I showed this on the video. I think I made it afterwards. You have to be on this side to be close enough for the skeletons to spawn. So this is my little AFK room now. And if you want to kill the uh, skeletons, get a little bit of experience, you can do it this way. Oh, I moved the lava blade up as well. Uh, but this is not really designed as an experience farm. This is mostly if you want the bows, which I don't really need at this point either, because I have quite a nice one. Fruit punch, unbreaking power five. But there's a little AFK room there. So I guess the one up there isn't really necessary. Okay, let's see if we can find a slime. I seem to remember somewhere around these parts. There were slimes before. I took all the slime balls I had and I turned them into sticky pistons. So we definitely need to find one if we are to get some llamas. We only need two llamas. And I don't think you can lead them with food. I think you 100% have to use a lead, but you only need one lead. If you have a lead, then all the other ones are supposed to follow along. All right, well, I thought I would look around, and I found some caves that weren't lit up, which is reducing the chance of a slime spawning, and look what I found. I found a spider spawner. So I'm actually, I don't have a ton of string. Not that, like, string is something I need to farm huge amounts of, but I don't know. I guess I'll save the location of this. We'll see what's in it. Maybe the chest will even have a slime ball. Is that possible? Let's shut down the spawner. I have not. Oh, it's a bat. <laughs> Calm down, it's just a bat. I thought someone was gonna attack me. Grab all this stuff. 
Okay, it's just gonna keep going. More coal everywhere. What's the chest got for us? It's got a record. It's got a name tag. The name tag's pretty awesome. More string, but not... Oh, my helmet broke. Dang. Not a slime ball, which I don't even know if that's possible. Oh. All right. Turns out I did have some slime balls after all. Okay, so let's make a few leads then and go see if we can find some llamas. They spawn in extreme hills or savannah, I think, which is, uh, which is pretty good because I happen to be living in the savannah. And there's a, quite a bit of savannah around me. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I think, let's see what time is it. Sun's about to set. Okay, quickly before the sun goes down. Let's see if we can't make a pen. Let's just use jungle wood. Uh, are the fences different colors now? I don't actually remember. I know the fence gates probably are. And I, th I always forget what the new recipe is. Okay, oops, screwed that up. I think, oh, come on. Wow, my mouth, my mouse is super slippery today. Is it like that? Yeah, that's the fence one. Okay, so I think what we'll do for now is I just want to enclose them and later on, I'll put actual gates there. Maybe we'll make one little fence gate. Do I still have some? Fence gate, fence gate, fence gate, nope. Okay, uh, so that's the inverse, right? Like this. Okay, eight. That's enough. So let's just make stray cow. Where did that cow come from? This must be just a wild cow, not my tamed cows. Let's make a little enclosure. No, I don't want it to be over there because then they'll wander up the hillside. Maybe just here out in the middle. We'll give them a proper home later. Just don't want them wandering around. I thought about... Uh, just tying them to something with the leads, but that has always been super buggy in my experience, unless it's been fixed, where the leads will just break periodically. I haven't tested it, but don't feel that it's worth the risk of losing my llamas. There's the sunlight diminishing. Okay, get out of here, tall grass. Okay, and then we need a gate. Ba bam Bye. Well, so far, no luck. I thought I would find some llamas quicker than this. Every time I've been out exploring, I just it seems like I never stop bumping into the suckers. I did find a, uh, a savannah village, though, and I marked its location, and I locked in all the villagers because they're totally worthless human beings. Except for you. You're going to die next time the sun sets. But, I, yeah, I haven't found any llamas. The area around my house, that's savannah. Savannah but it only extends just a little bit around the mountain. No llamas there, and then I walked through a desert, basically this desert, no llamas there, through a whole bunch of savannas, savannah desert, savannah desert, savannah desert, basically. Back to back, I mean, I didn't expect to see any of the endeavors, but I have to go through the desert to get to the next savannah, and no llamas, so we might have to do this through the nether. I have to get some villagers, and I don't have sheep either. There are a lot of sheep here, but I, did not bring wheat. I suppose I could... No, there's probably sheep closer by. I don't have to lead sheep all the way back from here. But I don't see any llamas. So I guess this is going to have to wait for another episode. Uh, did a lot of building today. and Maybe next episode... Actually, I take that back. We are going to go get llamas this episode after working quite a while on that montage. Can I not attack through... Wow, okay. I guess I have to go around the edge. Didn't realize that. It, can I turn? Oh my god, the noise of the stupid portal. What is it under? Ambient? No, I don't think so, unless their sliders don't work, which is usually the case. Blocks? Oh, it's under blocks. Okay. So, um, yeah, I was looking at the video after I actually edited it, and I was a little bit surprised to see that the video was a little bit short. And after, I guess that kind of makes sense, after spending several hours working on that montage, I, I had probably, I don't know, I had several hours of footage for that thing. But it gets eaten up pretty quickly when you, oh, hello, little buddy. Gets eaten up pretty quickly when you have nine perspectives for your montage. So we're going to have to go through the nether. I remember a thing where uh, trying to bring horses through the nether, and if there wasn't space on either side of the portal, they would take suffocation damage. I don't know if that's fixed. I don't want to risk my llamas. We're going to have to go, I guess, all the way back to spawn. Ah-ha! I found one! 
Finally! Okay, so I thought it would be fairly simple. When I was exploring the map, trying to find a place to live, I swear I ran into these guys all the frickin' time. But when I'm actually looking for one to tame, you're nowhere to be found, are you, Llama? Finally found one. This is uh, Chunk City right here. I went through a variety of portals. Badge is over there making some kind of chain building. It's kind of a cool idea. I wonder how tall he's gonna make that. Hmm. Uh, could have like a floating thing up in the sky. Anyway, oh, let me look for a second one. If we only have one, there's a second one. What's the point? Okay, lovely. I went through all kinds of savannas, all kinds of extreme hills. Finally found some guys. I think we want apples to tame them. Hey. 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 Do we not need... Maybe I don't need to tame you. I thought you took apples like a horse. Where? Okay. Can I just do this? Oh. Maybe I don't need to tame you at all. I kind of thought I did. Well, let's see if this guy falls in line once we get within a certain distance. They're supposed to... They're supposed to... Yeah, oh, look at that! Okay, so they are operating like a pack animal. There's a third one. I want to bring probably three or four through the nether because we might lose one or two. Hey, awesome! Oh, <laughs> sweet! So I, no wonder I've never been able to figure out what it takes to tame them because you don't need to. You just need a lead. Maybe we can find a fourth guy. Don't spit on me. Spit on the sheep. It's fine. Maybe, it, oh man, if only I could, uh, there's a fourth one. If only I could get them, okay, calm down. Get them to carry the sheep and pigs and stuff that I don't already have. Hey, um, if I get them to do that so we could get all the animals in one go. There we go. All right, we got four now. That's good enough. As long as I get two back to the base, we can breed them up. And I am kind of curious, if I breed these two together, do they act like other babies where we have a we have a chance to get the other skin types? I know there's a brown skin. I think there's four total. Two brown varieties, two white varieties. But let's just go ahead and uh, try to get these guys back through the portal. I wonder what's going to happen with the lead when we go through the portal. Well, we'll find out. Science! Okay. You're not invited, sheep. Actually, sheep, if you want to come... You can come. You are invited. I changed my mind. You're invited. Invitation sent. I wonder what the range is on their, uh... Like, if I sprint away, will the lead break? Will they just speed up? I don't know. There's Badge over there working on his, uh... Chain building. Deep in thought. Considering some possibilities. Okay, here we go. Through the portal, guys! Oh, I've got to get all of them through. This could actually be tricky. Okay, got a quick, guys. Through we go. Yo, what I'll probably need to do is leash them one at a time. Through you go. Okay, good. That's two. Maybe I'll just bump you. Through the portal. This this is a really pathetically small and puny little portal we have here, but what are you going to do? We'll have to make do with what we got. Number four. Through we go. All right. They should all be sitting there. Hopefully we don't bump a fourth one back through again. Oh, okay, this is not right. Oh, okay, guys. All four of you over here. There we go. Okay. Uh, pause is that way. Okay, we got all four. Let's go, buddies. Now we just have to walk all the way back. Should be fairly straightforward. There are a few of the the paths through the nether that cut through a cave, and I hopefully they won't fall off or bump each other off or something like that. We should be good to go to get all the way back, though. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. There we go. All right. Off we go through the portal ourselves. As long as it's still daytime, we should be good to go. We should be fine. What time is it sun setting? All right. No time to wait. No time to lose. Let's go. So we managed to bring four llamas all the way back. I'd never in a million years expected to keep all four along the way, but I guess their pathfinding is pretty good. They chained together and they have not uh, slowed down or anything, broken rank. I haven't had to stop to go back and grab one like you would with cows or or pigs or whatever. Now, yeah, they managed to do that too. Look at that. They went right through the gate. Give me that. Uh, okay, well, I guess I didn't come through far enough. We'll get the straggler through here, buddy. Fantastic. All right, sweet. So uh, this is the end of the episode. Next episode, what we're going to do, I think we'll expand our temporary animal pens and we're going to... Get some pigs and sheep, maybe get all the sheep of different colors, or maybe we'll wait for that. 
I have, an, I have some ideas for things to do with some colored bits of wool, but I would like to have a permanent place to put them or a semi-permanent. We'll have to have some, some of these buildings are gonna turn into animal pens. So uh, that's it for this episode though. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Uh, see you later, take it easy. Have a good day, Bye bye Oh, <laughs>